Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are actually going to add another server to the home lab um, and I brought it from work and it's an old retired server. Uh, let's flip the camera over and take a look at that. Alright, I have the server set up on my workbench here. Um, this is a temporary location so I can work on it, work on it um, with the keyboard mouse monitor. Uh, as of right now, I do not have keyboard, mouse, and monitor in the rack, so this is a little bit easier. So I want to go over the specs of this machine real quick. It's a Lenovo. Um, the model number of it is RD640. Uh, it's fairly old. It's not um, super old, but it is depreciated enough that we took it out of the data center. And I figured, eh, might as well add it to my home lab. So let's boot this thing up and look at the system specs. All right, I booted the system up and I'm in the BIOS to show you some of the specs. So it doesn't say, uh, but there's actually two of these Xeon processors in it. The E5-2650 version two, they run at 2.6 gigahertz. And if I remember right, they boost up to 3.2 gigahertz. Um, I will actually post um, the ratings on the screen. But with the two processors in it, I have 16 physical cords and 32 uh, threads. And I have 128 gigs of DDR3 in the system. What I'm planning on using the system for is a hypervisor. So I'm going to put my virtual machines on here and Linux containers on here. I'm going to use Proxmox uh, to do this. Uh, as of recording this video, Proxmox version 6 is the latest build, um, and I plan on using that. Uh, I do want to take note real quick that the BIOS on this server is actually um, kind of old. Uh, there is a newer version of the BIOS. Uh, I will update that as well before I uh, install the latest version of Proxmox. Um, another thing I want to do is I want to add um, an SSD to this server. So we currently have um, two terabyte drives in it. I'm going to use these for um, mass storage. They're two terabytes. I have four drives in it total. And my plan is to do um, probably a RAID 10 across them if I can. If I can't, then I'll just do a RAID 5 uh, across the drives. So um, that's how the mass storage is going to work. Um, but I'm going to add an SSD to it. And I am adding an Intel M2 NVMe SSD to it. And I'm going to use um, a PCI Express adapter made by uh, this company. I am not going to try to pronounce that because I will destroy it. But in my last video, when I added an M2 drive to my other server, I didn't like the the adapter. Um, I didn't like the way the cards fit on the adapter. They fit, fit pretty weird. Um, plus, this card actually comes with heat spreaders for your M2 drives uh, with thermal compound or thermal pad. Um, so I figured this would be a better card. It's about the same price. Uh, it runs full speed. It comes with brackets for um, full height and then half height. Uh, so you have brackets for both. I want to install Proxmox first after I set up these drives and then I'll add this card in um, afterwards and I want to make that one so the VMs that need uh, additional speed will run off the SSD and then anything that I don't care about that can run at normal speeds uh, test VMs stuff like that I'll just run them off of the hard drives um, since I will not have a backup for the SSD I will have Proxmox doing backups to my uh, Unraid storage server that's already in the, the rack. Um, this way I have like weekly backups 
maybe nightly backups on a, an important VM. But for right now, I want to get Proxmox installed and uh, get this thing going. So I'm going to put the camera down um, and start installing it. And then I'll show you what it looks like once it has the default install. Another thing I wanted to show uh, is how many watts this thing is pulling. Um, it's currently booting up my uh, Proxmox USB install um, and it's pulling 230 watts and it's fully booted. The fans are kind of idle right now. So that's something to consider um, since this is going to be powered off of solar uh, for the most part of the day. So an additional 220 watts or so, 230 um, for this server. All right, I have Proxmox installed. I put it on an IP address. Um, it says the next step is to reboot, but before we reboot, we actually need to put it in the rack. So I am going to grab the rails and quickly show you guys how uh, these rails snap in. They are actually the proper rails uh, for the unit, so I'll show you how that works. Okay, I have the rails here. And I mentioned earlier when I, uh, the video that I put the, the rack in place that I like the, um, the square pegged racks. Um, the reason for that is rails like this, um, they just snap in place. They snap right onto the, uh, the rack and they just go in place very easy. Well, let me show you. Actually, let me put it on the tripod and I'll show you how, how it works. These rails just clip in, uh, clipped into the peg slots. I slid out the, the sides. Now put the server in and slide it in place. All right, now that we got the server mounted in the rack, uh, I want to pop open the lid, install the NVMe SSD, and then we can uh, put power and network to it and boot it up. Just want to quickly show um, this NVMe uh, PCI Express adapter it was far better than the other one I had. Um, so you could see the NVMe drive sits pretty flush on the board, nice and snug. I got the thermal pad. Um, they give you two thermal pads. Make sure you take the plastic off each side before you use them, and they give you two heat sinks. So all we got to do now is apply the heat sink on the card we're ready to rock and roll and you got a slot here that our identification this is uh, in key and this is NVMe and then you also have a B key over here and if you use B key that works at regular SATA and you do need to hook up the, the SATA um, port in the back to do that. So we have it set up for NVMe, all ready to rock and roll, and that looks a heck of a lot better than that other card. All right, let's put the card in the server. Let's raise it comes out. To use this, you may, must have two CPUs in the system. They have little block-offs. Uh, I have two CPUs in the system. Oh, I don't need that one. Let's actually use this one right here. Um, I do have two CPUs, so I'm okay. This is a um, full height slot right here. So we just need to take the cover off, put the card in. We're ready to rock and roll. Looks like it's part in there, right? There we go. Put the card in. Ready to go. Plug the riser back in. Pick up my slot cover. Put the lid back on and we're done.
right. Slide this server in. Put it in place. We need power cord and a network port to it, and then we should be able to turn it on. All right, we got it powered up. See it there? Still running on solar, which is pretty awesome. Um, we're with the two servers. We'll pull on about three amps. Uh, not too bad. Um, and we have network to it. So let me see. Back there, we have network to it and power. I only use one power supply to save uh, power. I don't want to use redundant. I I consider my uh, solar as redundant, so um, I don't use two power supplies. But I'm going to run to the computer and see if we can get to it. All right, we're at the computer. I've logged into the Proxmox server, so that's the IP address. You need to use port 8006, and it's HTTPS uh, URL. So if you do that, you can see HTTPS full address right there. Uh, let's look at summary real quick. It says up and running, seeing all 32 threads, all 128 gigs of RAM. Uh, let's see if it sees the NVMe. All right, so we looked at the summary real quick, we've seen the, the CPUs and we've seen the RAM. If you go into uh, disk, you can actually see that the Intel NVMe drive is seen and um, the RAID array is uh, a RAID 5. Uh, you can see that all that storage is there as well. In my next video, I'll show you guys how to convert unraid uh, VMs and containers to Proxmox. Thank you for watching. I do uh, hope that you enjoyed everything that was in this video. We've got a new server in place uh, in the rack, solar powered, home lab, woohoo. Uh, now I have a proper hypervisor um, to use with adequate hardware. I plan on making more videos about converting um, VMs from Unraid to Proxmox and containers from Unraid to Proxmox. So stay tuned and have a good day. Bye.